Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. My name is Zareen Karazin. I'm a PhD student at the University of Washington in Seattle. I'm going to be presenting qualitative interview study on governance capture in a self-governing community, looking at a qualitative comparison of the Serbo-Croatian Wikipedias. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Croatian Wikipedia case, uh, for about a decade, at least 2011 to 2020, a small group of far-right editors took over the governance mechanisms of the Croatian Wikipedia. They installed themselves in their allies and administrative positions, and they systematically started introducing far-right bias, including historical revisionism about World War II, into the project's article base. Finally, they harassed and stamped out dissenting editorial, dissenting editorial voices, so uh, hard for editors that were not ideologically aligned with this core group to contribute to the project. After years of calls from the foundation to intervene, the situation started getting some media attention. Eventually, uh, the offending editors, many of them, most of them were removed from positions of power. Many of them were blocked um, outright, um, issued global blocks. Uh, the foundation did a commissioned a retrospective assessment of the situation to figure out what happened found out that essentially while there was there was systematic issues with the content on the project but really this was a problem of governance they called it project capture um, that the mechanisms by which the project was governed were taken over interesting thing is server creation is a pluricentric language uh, and has four separate language editions, three of which correspond to these national, the national variants of the language. So there's, in addition to Serbo-Croatian, there's also Serbian, Croatian, and Bosnian. Um, but the report uh, found that the situation on Croatian Wikipedia was unique. While there are issues with historical revisionism and vandalism uh, in uh, these other projects, none of them experienced the project takeover that Croatian Wikipedia did. So the question that arose was why? Why did Croatian Wikipedia succumb to capture while well, other editions in the same language family that shared uh, similar character characteristics did not fail in the same way? To answer this question, we did an interview study. We interviewed people um, essentially in two groups. First group were people um, who were involved in global governance processes on Wikipedia. So this could be by being a steward or by being a, a foundation staff member that was dealing with disinformation issues or people that were in other informal uh, cross wiki groups. Second group of uh, people we interviewed were editors and admins uh, specifically on uh, these the Croatian and Serbian projects. Through our interviews, we came up, uh, we did a grounded theory analysis of the interview and came up with three themes or propositions uh, that together we propose explain why some projects like Croatian Wikipedia may be more vulnerable than uh, others to this form of governance capture. So the first characteristic of uh, proposition is perceived value. Is the project even worth expending the effort um, to capture. So through our interviews, we found that the four projects were not equally attractive targets for this form of disinformation campaign that promoted nationalist ideology. Uh, Croatian and Serbian both had a critical mass of editors and the, a community in which national narratives resonated. Um, so they were in this way, of the four projects, the two most attractive targets of potential targets uh, for capture. But then they differed in these two other respects. First was bureaucratic openness. How easy was it for contributors outside the core founding team to ascend to local governance positions? On Serbian Wikipedia, there was an early effort by the founders of the project to open up the project's bureaucracy to people outside of the core founding team. So there was a transparent process to ascend to administrator positions, bureaucrat check user positions, and there was an effort to recruit this initial diverse group um, of administrators. On Croatian Wikipedia, that didn't happen. The initial group was quite insular and grew more insular over time, such that it was um, there was no process for people to ascend to these positions with um, elevated user rights unless without relying on sort of uh, uh, their um, existing relationships. Um, 
The third factor, um, or the second one on which these two projects differed, was institutional formalization. So to what degree did the project prefer these personalistic, more informal forms of organization over formal ones? Uh, Serbian Wikipedia formalized a lot of its sort of governance processes. So they had more rules, um, and uh, they specifically had rules that constrained administrator behavior. There was a process to remove uh, administrators that were not acting in good faith. Um, and they also outlined a blocking policy that outlined uh, when you could, what was a good faith use of the blocking policy, which was a big problem on Croatian Wikipedia. Um, Croatian Wikipedia instead, uh, uh, the rules were invoked kind of ad hoc uh, at the whims of the admins, there was no sort of uh, the organization of governance was very informal. The project had no uh, Wikimedia chapter, um, uh, which Serbian Wikipedia had, and which lended some degree of legitimacy or uh, scrutiny from outside of the actual project into the processes in the project. So um, we wanted to rep we represented uh these two um propositions on which the two projects differed on this two by two matrix um the idea is that um uh each of these quadrants represents um the relative a window of a likelihood of capture um so projects that have um more personalized institutions and insular bureaucracies like the croatian wikipedia are highest risk um, and it's uh, maybe and projects that are more likely to have to have this are um, these medium sized projects that have a critical mass of editors that they're attractive enough to be targeted, but they have not yet developed the sorts of um, resources that larger projects have. Um, lowest risk of capture are things are projects like English Wikipedia and German Wikipedia who have open bureaucracies and these more formal processes in, in place, as well as um, Serbian, Serbian Wikipedia. Um, so the next step for this study is um, a quantitative study that empirically tests these relationships. Um, because obviously this is our kind of theory for what we're for what was happening based on our uh interview results. Um, but the next step is testing it across many, many Wikipedia editions to see if we can, to see if it generalizes beyond our immediate study. Um, thank you. And I'm looking forward to feedback and questions.